Oh, girl, okay. Beautiful model. Tell me, Lola. Today's video, prime lenses. What are prime lenses? Why might I ask? Prime lenses are lenses with fixed focal length. I have, to me, three prime lenses. I have the 50, I have the 100 millimeter f2.8 macro lens, and I have the Sigma X5 1.4, right? There are reasons why I have these three prime lenses. For me, if I had enough cash, I would have added the 35 millimeter f1.4 lens from Sigma. Today's video is probably sponsored by GoPixel. Of course, I'm shooting behind my house with this setup, this background. You guys have seen it in a lot of videos when I shoot in the studio. I added a chair. We had to shoot at the beach today, but you know, the rain said, stay home. So we are staying home. I still wanted to shoot it. Right. Still on prime lenses, I'll use the 50 so that we can have different um, focal length on um, the images I'll be provided today. But looking at the distance from where the background is and hair and where I'm limited to, I am pretty sure the 100 will just give me a crop from maybe the tummy upwards and the H5 too. Let's, let's just see. But I know that the 50 might probably give me a full body image which I can work with. You have the poses in your head, right? Good for me. One good thing is it's cloudy and I can have a lot of cloudy images to shoot into. I mean, to edit and play around with. And I'm still selling my presets. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description. Pictures from today should to be color graded with the said presets, TJDS presets. So go and buy them on my web store. All right, prime lens, 50mm focal length. All right, it means from this, this is close to what the human sees with the eye when you're looking at whatever it is you're looking at. But people also contemplate that with, say, um, the 35 millimeter lens. They say what's closer to the eye is the 35 rather than the 50. But the 50 gives less compressions, I mean distortion, sorry. It gives less distortions compared to that of the 35, which I use normally for wide shots. All right, so I'm ready for you. Fine, bend the head to the right, to the right here. Open your lips. Yeah. Don't forget to tiptoe. Bend the head. Beautiful, lovely. One thing I like about the 50 also is I can come in close, get half body portrait, cut it from the knee. Then to the head, this way. Open the lips. Yeah, you can put both hands behind you. Yeah, then you just extend. Do you get it? Yeah. And lean in towards me. I can have half body portraits. I can have full body portraits with the 50, all with less distortions. The only sad part about it is um, the compression rate from the background. You keep that. You don't get to see the background compressed as that of either the 85 or the 100 millimeter. I like what I'm seeing. Currently, I'm shooting at f2.0, ISO 100, shutter speed 1 over 400. One good thing about prime lenses is you have wider apertures or wider f-stops. So I can go as low as 1.8. Since it's a cloudy condition, cloudy conditions, you're always looking at, say, um, open ISO 200, 300, 400. But because I have a lens that can open up to 1.8, you still see I'm shooting at ISO 100 but my f-stop is at um, 2.0 which allows more light to enter my lens if the background was in a plain background and there was some kind of depth between um hair and the background would have also you know would have also um seen the depth of field playing in there and secondly i'm shooting at a lower f-stop so that i can increase my shutter speed 
under cloudy conditions when the sun is not up, mostly you find people either increasing their ISO to introduce more noise or reducing the shutter speed all the way down to 160th of a second. I can have 400 of a second even under like very huge cloudy conditions just because I can open up my aperture to 2.0 to allow more light to enter. So, okay, thank you. Let's go. I should be all giggly, smiling. Yeah. I'm feeling myself. Yeah. No, lean for no, no, what you just did. Then lean for no, no, no. What you just did. Like, so you push the butt out and just lean for it. I don't go all the way up. So you can just have the left leg here, then the right leg, tiptoe, then you lean for it, and you just push your butt. Okay. Keep that. Then to the head, this way. Beautiful. So that should be that for the 50 millimeter. I'm going to change straight into the 85, which is the 85 1.4 lens. So that can give me a very wide aperture at 1.4. Don't do this. Use a lens cleaner. I don't have one. Go away. Okay, this is the 85 Sigma at 1.4. I, I want them to see the distance. So this is how far back I am on this wall. And this is how far she is away from me. And with this 85, what we usually call the portrait lens. If you take a look at this, you have less distortion. You have um, um, a very good compression rate between our subject and the background, making it look a little bit realistic. Okay. All right. So if I show you the images from the 85, you can see the background compression rate I'm telling you about. This can go as low as f1.4, so I can even increase the shutter speed more. So let's see, let me move this to 1.4 and compensate that with the shutter speed. So from 400, I think I'll go to 800. I like the skip that. Beautiful. All right, so comparing the 1.4 images I shot with the 2.0, after opening the aperture to 1.4 and increasing the shutter speed, I increased the shutter speed from 400 to 800, which should be, let me see how many stops. So one, two, three stops. One, two, three. Yeah, three stops equivalent to that of the f-stop. You just have to fix the exposure in post. Right, so that's for the 100. I mean, sorry, that's for the 8.5 prime lens. I have the 100 f2.8 macro lens, the L2, oh, the L1 version. Let's see. The L version only opens up to f2.8. It doesn't go anywhere below that. But all I have to do is just bring down the shutter speed and open up my exposure for this. Right, keep that. So currently, my ISO is at f. Um, sorry, my ISO is at 320 f 2.8 shutter speed one over 500. I like that. If we compare all the three lenses together you realize the 100 gives a very good background compression rate, which makes um, the image look a little bit more realistic. The only thing you're going to see is that you're going to have more bokeh if you're using the 100. And I don't advise using 100 for, let's say, full body shots. Unless you have like a wide space, you can shoot in. But currently looking at how small the space is, I'll still stick with the 50, which of course has been one of the best lens I've been using so far. Well, I, I decided to take a 50 millimeter lens journey. And so far it hasn't disappointed me because most of the images I've been, um, if, if, been, if you've been with me on my YouTube, looking at how I shoot my swimwear, majority of my swimwear videos 
these days are all centered around a 15 millimeter lens. So figure out which lens works best for you. Find ways and means and understand why the lens, what you need the lens for, and how best the lens can portray whatever it is you need to use the lens for. And for me, prime lenses are it for me. Um, back then, if you should ask me, I would have said 35 would have been the best lens. But now, after practicing a lot with 50, which was influenced by a friend of mine, Carlos, I'm going to leave a link down to the sandal in the description. Uh, I have loved the 50 so far. I started with the Nifty 50, of course. I really didn't appreciate because I was a fan of like bokeh, bokeh, bokeh until I appreciated the fact that if you're shooting at locations, you need to show everything that's in the frame and make sure everything is in focus, tell a story with the background involved. And ever since then, the 50 mm, anytime I step out, shoot beauty, i sorry, shoot somewhere, shoot portrait outdoors, I never go anywhere without the 50 millimeter lens. So find the lens which works best for you and see how best it will improve your craft. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, today's pictures are going to be color graded with the TJDS profile sets. A link in the description. Purchase it. I'm going to leave Tim Lola's handle also down there in the description. She's been a great model, right? You can hit her up. They should. All right, hit her up, work with her and we'll see how best you can improve your craft. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.